welcome back to my channel. In my last video, I did the review of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, but the moisturizing version. And I told you guys I was going to go pick up the oil-free version of that foundation because they accidentally gave me the moisturizing one. And I asked you guys if you wanted to see a review of that version as well. And a lot of you commented that you wanted to see the review. So I had to go to Nordstrom's anyways today because I had to go return some shoes that I got that are a size too big. So I was like, oh, it's right next to the Laura Mercier counter in Nordstrom. So I went ahead and picked it up. So let's just go ahead and get into the review. This is what the box looks like. It looks exactly like the other box. And instead it just says oil free on it. And again, it is Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Edition Foundation. These names for these foundations, I feel like are getting so long. It's like I'm getting winded every single time I say a foundation name. I mean, phew. So like I said in my last video, this is the new silk cream foundation that is replacing the old Laura Mercier silk cream foundation. And they completely reformulated it, and they came out with two versions of it. They came out with an oil-free and a moisturizing one. And in the old silk cream formulation, it was oil-free as well. They didn't have a choice between either oil-free or moisturizing. They do now have the oil-free version online at Sephora for $48. When I checked this past... Um, when I checked this past weekend, they did not have it online at Sephora, and I actually did not see it there. I only saw moisturizing. So I don't know if they just recently put it up on the Sephora website, but I know they didn't have it up there earlier. So yeah, I just want to let you guys know that they do have it up now. And yeah, you guys in Sephora or Nordstrom's, so those are the two places that I know that sell that sells both of these versions. Um, so yeah, let's just get into the foundation review. So this is what the packaging of the Oil Free looks like. As you guys can see, the packaging is matte and not shiny. So I'm going to compare the two versions next to each other. And as you can see, the moisturizing one has a shiny finish to the packaging and the Oil Free has a matte finish. Which is really cool because then you can tell which one is Oil Free and which one is shiny just by looking at the packaging without even reading anything. It reads... The original makeup artist favorite. This photo ready foundation creates a flawless canvas with a natural matte finish. The oil free long wear formula blends seamlessly onto skin, hiding even hard to cover imperfections. Perfect for normal to oily skin. So you can wear this foundation if you have a normal skin type or an oily skin type. So I'm really curious to see how this is going to apply and what the finish is going to be like. So when I went to go pick up this foundation today, I was talking to a lady at the Laura Mercier counter and she was telling me that this oil-free version was supposed to be a matte finish and that the moisturizing version is supposed to be a luminous finish, which she even says on the box. Me that I was like, no. I go look at my skin right now because I was wearing the foundation today and she was just like, it's matte. I'm like, yeah, it's matte. It's not shiny at all. It's completely different than the old silk cream, which is like, which is just shocking. And I'm really excited to get into and try the oil-free version to see how the finish compares to the moisturizing one and how it applies. So first, before we get into the review of the oil-free version, I just want to give you guys a little synopsis of what I think of the moisturizing one now that I've worn it this week. Um, the moisturizing one is amazing. I'm actually loving it. So far, I've noticed no breakouts, which is it's good in my book. Awesome. Um, it holds up well for me. What I've been wearing underneath it is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer, which honestly, it's not really a primer. It's more of a moisturizer because I noticed that it doesn't hold on my foundations all day. Mm -mm. So if you guys just want a good moisturizer and you want your skin to feel glowing, I have noticed a huge difference in my skin since I've used this stuff, but it's not a primer. It's a moisturizer. Just It's just a moisturizer. <laughs> If you guys want me to go more in depth about this in another video, let me know. But um, yeah, I love this for a moisturizer, not so much a primer, but as you guys know, you know I can't really wear primers. They always break me out, and I just have no luck with them. But, but yeah, all in all, it did break up a little bit on me about four or five hours in, but not that bad. It's held up better than all my other foundations have, and I'm I'm actually loving this one. This is really great. I really, really like it. But that's also because I am oily. 
for people who are dry skin, it's still be cautious with this one. Just be cautious. So, so let's just go ahead and get into this. So as you guys know, I preferred the Flat Top Kabuki over the Beauty Blender because the Beauty Blender was very splotchy on the skin. I don't know why, but it was splotchy and I didn't like it. Um, it was very splotchy on the skin. I didn't like the coverage of it. So I'm going to give you guys a little tip. If you want to achieve a full coverage look, use a dense brush. If you want to achieve more of a sheer, natural look, then use a beauty blender. A beauty blender, because it's damp, it's going to sheer out the color. I like more fuller coverage because I have a lot of redness and unevenness to cover, so I prefer the brush. If I'm going out running errands and don't really care but just want to look presentable, then I'll go use a beauty blender because it's nice and quick. So yeah, just applying foundations for me, I prefer the F80 just because I know it gives more of a full coverage look. So we're going to go in and use that. We're going to start shaking this foundation to make sure it's all mixed inside. And you can tell it's very liquidy, but then when it's done being mixed all together, hearing that sound. Okay, open this up, see how this looks. The exact same look as the moisturizing version. It's very thick, doesn't run and is a very smooth texture. So I had a few people ask me about how this foundation smelled and in the oil free version I don't smell anything at all. I smell nothing. Um, but when I was asked about the moisturizing one I went back to go smell it and I noticed the moisturizing one has a paint smell to it. It definitely smells like a paint. I don't know but Smells, the smell of foundations don't really bother me, but if they bother you, then go to the counter and smell it before purchasing it. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in now. So as you guys can see, now that you're zoomed in, I have a lot of unevenness in my skin, so let's see how well this baby covers. Again, I'm just going to take my finger and dot it on my face because that's my favorite way to apply foundation. Okay, so now that I have my foundation applied on this side, you can see the difference between my no foundation side and my foundation side. So you can see how much it really covers. It has covered a lot. It's got good coverage. It's the same amount of coverage as the moisturizing one. But I do notice that this one is more matte than the moisturizing one. This one is even more matte, and I do notice that it does cling to dry patches. So for combination skin, I'd be very careful with this. I'm noticing that there is some dry patches right in here because that's where I'm kind of dry. Um, so yeah, it's got the same amount of coverage. It's a little bit more matte than the moisturizing one, and it does cling to dry patches so far, what I'm noticing. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. So this is with one layer of application, and as you guys can tell, it is a medium coverage. I wouldn't say light coverage because I am definitely evened out a bit, um, but I do notice that it does not cover my blemishes that I have right now. I definitely need to go in there and build, so I'm going to put a little bit more on my hand. So let's see if we can build with this one as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush, and I'm just going to put it over the spots that I need more coverage. So don't mind the ghost this look right now. This one seems like a little bit lighter for my skin tone. So I got my second layer of application on. I just went and added some more coverage in the areas that I needed. Um, so far I like this foundation. It is a lot more drying than the moisturizing one. And the moisturizing one was already pretty drying to begin with. Um, I'm going to go and finish up the, my, the rest of my makeup and let this set a little bit. And I'll be right back to give you guys my full review of the oil-free version of the Silk Cream Foundation. Everyone, I am back with my makeup done. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into what I think about this foundation. When I was doing my makeup, I did notice it's settling into some fine lines. It is very drying. It's more drying than the moisturizing one, which thank goodness it is. 
But I have oily combination skin, so I don't think this would be great if you were combination because it does stick to some dry patches. And I just do notice it's going into like every little line that I have. You guys can't see it on camera, but I can see it up close. And it's going into these little lines underneath my eyes. I even set it with the powder, my Laura Mercier setting powder that I love so much. Um, even try like the Kat Von D one from her shade and light, her shade light kit. And still, I just notice it's just settling into those fine lines. So I'm not a fan of that at all. Um, it's just a little too drying for my skin and I'm oily but I'm turning into more of a combination skin type right now as I'm getting older. So for me, this foundation doesn't work very well. It's just too drying on the skin. Um, but I think if you guys are extremely, extremely oily and oily, I think you will love this because it is so mattifying. Another little tip when you guys go check out these foundations. The color that I picked up in both of them are called Medium Ivory. I put them next to each other on my hand and they do not run the same shade. The oil free one is running a lot lighter than the moisturizing one. And I so just to give you guys a heads up about that as well, that even though they're the same name, same shade, they do not match. The, there is a difference between the two, just to say this one's drying, this one's like super drying. So if you guys really do have oily skin all over, all over, I would definitely go um, the oil-free. But if you guys have combination skin to dry, I would go with the moisturizing one. But remember, if you are very dry, get a sample first before you get pick this up because it is so drying on the skin. So I don't know if you would like the finish or the feel of it. Um, so all in all, I prefer the moisturizing one or over the oil-free one because... The oil-free one is just a little bit too drying on my skin. Even for me being oily to combinations, just too dry. So yeah, I prefer the moisturizing one. I know as a lover of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation, I definitely miss the old formulation because it was so different. I love the new one. But I wish they would have kept the old one as well and not gotten rid of it because it is such a different foundation. So if this review really helped you guys, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I got that James so Dean daydream Look in my eye, go down you got that red lip and plastic Thing that I like when we go crashing